M0 FXP, welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0 FXP, yeah, someone's asked me to do a quick video on the FT3. I've had this for a while, so uh, let's just at least turn it on so it looks nice and colourful. Turn it down. Okay, so um, I'll just start off with saying, but I definitely recommend these. They're very good value. You can get them for about 360, 370. And then you can try and convince them to give you free delivery. Um, so they are GPRS, sorry, GPS, they have Bluetooth. They are full dual band radios on FM analog. They do receive C4 FM fusion on A and B band, but um, only one at a time. So I have taken the grommet off here on the side because I find that the speaker is a bit more rounded um, but that's really my only complaint about this radio that the the speaker could could be better but it's still quite good get my all-star node on there so no problem at all with uh, G4 with a M7 KPM uh, yes my friend you're getting through but um, there's a lot of that's, a, that's actually an analog signal coming through Let's turn it down. Now at the moment it's on my, on the A band, it's on my, so we go A by pushing A here. It's on my um, open spot three. So I'm pretty sure I'm cross-moded into something. Uh, I just actually can't remember. You hear the little beep, open spot three came up. I think we're on one Charlie, let's just give a shout. And I think we're on 30 Charlie, let's just call and see if anyone comes back. M0 FXB calling for an audio report. I think by the numbers it could be Talk Group 91, Brandmeister. Okay. Well, he's not calling me, but you heard that. That's cross-moded and it sounds really good. So I, I, I may have my, my open spot on there. Let me think now. My jumbo spot. Let's try the frequency for my jumbo spot. We'll go into VF. So you've got VFO mode, memory mode. So there's VFO. Right, there you go. That is um, my my jumbo hotspot PiStar system. MMDVM board. Okay, okay, Francis. Ben, je vais laisser un blanc. Il ne s'est pas manifesté, donc c'est que il est en train de conduire son son véhicule. So, as you can see, a, I think it's a French station coming through. So now, so now look, you can actually, we're in A and B, look. So we have single mode, dual mode. But if you hold down the A, B, it will go to single mode. See, there you go. And then you can just go A and B and select what is on A and B. Obviously, you have VFO and that. Now, why is X? Now, to use that, I would have to choose this frequency here. I'll push it and see if it connects, but there's someone talking. Yeah, it's not going to connect while someone's talking, but you just hit the X. The other thing about these radios is that they are, have been fully um, sort of designed to connect to the the PDN and direct mode wires X system. So you have to register for that, but it's as long as you've got a call sign, it's all free. Uh, there's the way you plug in the mini USB type cable. It's that type if you see the shape. And uh, above that, you've got an SD card, so it's fully pro programmable using an SD card or you can buy a the same lead that comes for the, that you need for um, programming the radio is what you need for the PDN mode, which I think is the SCU 39 or 19. And there's a whole setup video for that separately. We'll hold down the, the main menu button there. So as you can see, you've got settings there for display. Uh, we'll do them one at a time. There's quite a few in that one for display. I'm not going to read them one hour, I'll be here all day. <laughs> but as you can see, it's packed full of functions. There's the back button, TXRX settings, memories, banks, all sorts. Back. Um, so, how cool is that? You know, you've got tr always tri band receive. 
you can see that you've got even VHF and UHF and then you've got the radio coming in so let's get rid of that back to dual band now it is quite a wide band radio look in the specifications uh, it does I'm pretty sure it does receive things like air band and things like that so look it up um, mode obviously if we hit mode here we've got FM digital narrow and then you can sort of lock it in and what else we're we going to look at this menu you've got this thing called cam mode which when you hit cam you get all these you're not seeing it now because it hasn't been set up yet but you get like five little bars that go up and down so you can monitor five channels at the same time that's pretty good then you've got the whole group the whole group settings here you can that well that's for adding your cam groups um, let's hit auto, can't remember what auto does. I know that when you key the mic, the DTMF comes up, so watch. DTMF here, hit that, and then you go, that's DTMF, so that's good. Um, just a brief push of the disc gives you the, the different, um, we're not GPS locked, I don't think it's even turned on, but you turn on the GPS, and up here I probably would get a lock, uh, let's go. Oh, you hit it to get out. So let's just see how hard it is to turn on the GPS. So go like that. It's probably in APRS settings, probably. Uh, let's go up, see if we can find GPRS. There is GPS. Um, let's start from the top. So all your APRS settings are here as well. APRS mode, and that's off at the moment. You'd need GPS on as well, I think, to use that. Beaconing, Beacon TX, GPS setup, should we try that? No, it's not the on though, is it? GPS power, there it is. Do that, turn it and go go back out of that, and you'll see it flashing. Um, yeah, see, it's flashing now. I'm not sure how long it will take to get a lock. Uh, but once you get a lock, then when you press D, this one here, you can see all the GPS stuff. And there's memories, you can save things to memory. So uh, you can see the SD card, uh, then the Bluetooth. So let's try that, hold down. Can't remember where the Bluetooth is. So hmm, I think we'll look at that another time, but it definitely does good Bluetooth. And um, uh, yeah, all right, you know, Bluetooth on ham radios is never perfect, is it? So I thought I'd show you it. There's the battery. The battery life on these is quite good. I would say I've compared it to other radios. I think it's quite good. Um, it's a nice size. You know, it's smaller than the FT2D. Don't let that bother you. That's actually a good thing. The FT2D is too big, if you ask me. Um, the style of the sort of push button is very similar to the FT70. Um, but this is a very state-of-the-art ham, state ham radio, and you will be very happy with it. But you have to use it. You know, if it sits in the cupboard, you, you've got to learn all the insides and outs of the radio to fully enjoy it. So uh, there you go. 7-3, thanks for watching. All the best. M0FXB clear. Catch you on air.